Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today we're going to play Super Lucky's Tale on Xbox One. This is a game that was gifted to me by a regular viewer, Injured Gamer 1985 So thank you so much, IG, for the donation. And again, uh, he's this, given me another game as well, uh, Turok 2 on PC. And that was a lot of fun to stream that too. So thank you again. Very generous person. So let's check this one out. This was... Uh, it received a lot of airtime during Xbox's E3 conference this last year, so they obviously had a lot of faith in this game. So let's check it out. Looks to be some sort of platformer game. It's charming. I like the design of the little fox. He's cute. Kind of reminds me of Tails and Sonic. This is the story of Lucky, a carefree young fox who lived in the forest. He's also my younger brother. Oh, I Growing see. up, more than anything else, we wanted to be guardians. Cooler, older sister. Heroic foxes who traveled far and wide in search of adventure. As I returned in. home from my most recent adventure, storybook approach. I had no idea that Lucky was about to begin his own. Ah. Oh, those are big. Big eyes. I see his sister is Tails. After an exhausting search, I had finally found it. The Book of Ages. The book could open doors to strange new worlds. It even had the power to rewrite history. Wow, I didn't expect but that But I wasn't the only one looking for it. <laughs> it was the dreaded kitty litter. A dysfunctional family of cuddly criminals, led by their father, Jinx. Give me the book. Guardian, or I shall take it from you. The kitty litter advanced, and I stood my ground, ready to fight. But Cute it turned out that the book had other ideas. In a flash, Lucky sacrificed himself to save me, my little brother. Lucky, he's a good boy. Lucky and the kitty litter had been swept into the book and the worlds within. Oh man, and the she's got survivor's guilt. Was now in danger. Lucky, if you can hear me, only you can stop them now. Only you can prevent forest fires. We got a few new folks joining. Nickinator Games, J Bobo, mail your mail. What's up, guys? J Bobo with the classic yo yo yo. Hey man, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a long time. How you doing, bud? Mail your mail says J. And Nickinator says 5J. This seems like a good game. It does. It does seem like a good game. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, since some of you folks might not have been in here earlier, this was a donation uh, given to me by Injured Gamer 1985 regular viewer. You've probably seen him and talked to them in the Come chat on. before. It's a cute little fox. How many cat puns are going to be in this one, I wonder? Wow, the Meowlin Temple. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness, Mewshu. <laughs> wow, this is great. Ninja Cat. He's taunting me with his little dance. This is cute. This is a cute game. Already, it's pretty easy to see that. So we're a fox. We're fighting cats. Um, foxes versus like a like a house cat, because like a fox would destroy a house cat, <laughs> straight up. I'm safe, thanks to you. Before Jinx stole the Book of Ages, it was our family's duty to protect it. And now the pages won't open for me. I can't join you on your adventure, but I'll try to slip some helpful things for you between the pages. Well, why can't you just jump in the pages? If items she can put between the pages end up in, in the world, why can't she just, like, jump in? For now, focus on unsealing the locked doors and kicking Master Mittens out of there. Master Mittens! That is a very scary name. I know I'd be afraid to fight somebody named Master Mittens. <laughs> You'll need to collect Lucky Clovers to break the lock on his door. P.S. You're on your own path to becoming a hero, Lucky. 
You can do this. I believe in you. There must be an extra life right there, eh? Hey. Beating up a snail. Pay no attention. Nick and says, does this show any Tide Pod eating? Unfortunately, this game predates Tide Pod eating, and they haven't had time to patch it in there. Swipe everything. Can't swipe him, though. Oh! Nice. I beat up a bird, though. It's nice. He's kind of a bully. Oh, he can double jump. Oh, I like the way he comes down to the to the ground. It's very fox-like. Nice. Mailer Mail says, I saw that hair flip. Oh, it happens. Oh, it happens, baby. Jibbo says, busy as always, been playing Mario Odyssey and Stardew. That'll keep you busy. <laughs> that is more than enough to keep you busy. That much is for sure. If I jump on him, I can do like a ground pound. Yeah. Oh, I see. We're burrowing. Nice. That's cool. For some reason, every time I think of a fox burrowing, I think of like Fox and the Hound or. No, oh, oh man. Have any of you ever seen the movie The Little Fox? I think it was one of those like direct to home video type movies, so I would not be surprised if you haven't. Okay. Cool. Nick Nair says, it, if it doesn't show any Tide Pods, zero out of five stars. I get the feeling a lot of games are zero out of five stars then. <laughs> Heavy Heads, that's the name of this level, Heavy Heads. Wouldn't you hate that? Your head's like, Ugh, I can barely lift my own head. Nick Nair says, maybe the pages are too skinny for her to jump in, I guess, but we'll see what she throws in, because if there's ever, like, anything large that comes through, then I call shenanigans. This, this guy is like a dolphin of the land. Look at that majestic leap out of the ground. You could have a show at SeaWorld. Okay, this is a hub world, obviously. It's turning out to be. I don't mind exploring hub worlds. Um, anything else here? Oh, that is a ground attack. Can I do it through the rock? No. Just making sure it's accurate. Hey, what are you doing? Mitten says he's a master, but I'm pretty sure his throwing stars are made of corn chips. <laughs> That's not a very effective weapon. In fact, I think you might actually make a bunch of friends that way. Just a bunch of corn chips. I think I missed one, but... It's okay. Right now, we're just checking out this world. bunch of uh, locked places, which is great. It's not a small game. If she throws a car in, then she just doesn't want to come. Exactly my point. Exactly. That'd be awesome. Lucky driving around like a Ferrari. Oh yeah! Secret? Secret? No. I like that it kind of makes the environment invisible for you, so you can see a little bit easier. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, kind of. Alright, I think this is most of the hub world here. Shortly, we'll enter the level we need to enter. Jibbo says, I missed a month with the subs, lol. <laughs> That's okay, dude. Don't you worry about it. Don't worry at all. Uh, I'm getting demonetized on YouTube. <laughs> so, I'm glad that's not happening with, with the Twitch business. 
I get demonetized, then I can't get, like, super chats or anything anymore either. Just too bad, but... Ah, it's all part of when things like the Logan Paul stuff happens. You know, then the people that get hurt are the small channels. It is what it is, man. I just gotta, like, double my viewership in 30 days. Or I'll have to reapply for the monetization process once I finally meet the minimum standard. You laughing at me, Jay Bobo? How dare you? <laughs> Alright, so that's the hub world. Let's go check out a level. Mail your mail says, Jay, you gotta play some horror games. I recently played some Resident Evil Revelations. Does that count? Come on! That was not long ago. So far, there's not much in the way of, like, actual enemies. Are these guys enemies? These guys? Nope. These things? No, they're just friendly little flowers. Maybe it's just a purely platforming game. There are no enemies. There's, like, bosses, though, right? You can't imagine not having to fight Master Mittens. You know you're gonna have to fight Master Mittens. J. Bobo says, more of the Logan Paul reference. Oh, right. Right, well, that's... That's exactly what happens, because... This, uh, change to policy happened after the Logan Paul thing, so... That is to blame. Straight up. Go, buddy, go! Nice. I don't know what the diamond does, but we got it. These look like enemies. There we go. There are enemies. Look at that. There's not a lot of them. Aha! Bada bing. We're about to hit a hundred of these things, whatever they are. Newton's tells us to follow the path of discipline, but he keeps glancing at his phone. Is that not disciplined? Is that is that your phone? Woohoo! Look at your little owl. This is nice. It's relaxing. It's a really good looking game. Ooh, there's hidden coins around. Yeah. Lucky, Papa Jinx has commanded me to destroy you. And ex an exceedingly simple task, if I'm honest. However, the Mew Shoe Arts requires I offer a series of tests before we fight. First, prove yourself worthy by waking the great golem beyond these gates. Until that time, I vanish! Oh, we'll beat him at his Mew Shoe Arts. Um, mail your mail says do some Outlast. Actually, I have an, uh, a Wife Wednesday of Outlast. So, you at least have that one to look back on. But, uh, yeah, no, that was cool. I liked that. And it's coming to Switch. So, I'm feeling like I'll probably get it again for Switch. Whoa! You can see I have three hearts, but so far... Nothing's even come close to touching me. Wow, you're a guardian! Mittens broke my body and now I'm stuck here. Can you help? I must ring the bell to wake the great golem, but I am merely ahead. My spare body waits by the bell. You can get me there. I can try to wake him. He reminds me of Gurr from Invader Zim. Any Invader Zim fans out there? Look at that, you can get into cages by digging. Brilliant! Oh. Nice. Oh, it unlocks a treasure chest. Ooh, that's cool. Cool time challenge. Did I get everything in here? So. And 
Oh, that's just health, not an increase. <laughs> Bonus level? Down in the dark. Unlock or used a foxhole. Hm. Nick Nair says, Seize your giveaway event goes on Gleam. Site 1270 entries. You know what? I'll sit this out. Nickinator Games, uh, you get like 50 entries a person, so it it's not as much as it looks like. Go for it, man. So you get 25 entries just for being a subscriber to me on YouTube. That's my biggest one that I wanted to push was getting subs on YouTube. So that one's worth, worth the most. So as long as you go to that page and you click the sub thing, you get 25 entries just for that. So it's not exactly what it looks like. It's not that I have 1,200 people that have, uh, you know, entered the giveaway. It's that each person gets, I think it's almost 60 entries. It's 50-some entries if you do all the different pieces of the entries. So you can sub to my channel. You can follow me on uh, Twitch. I think after you do those two things, it unlocks, like, four other different things. You can watch a video. You can... Uh, follow me on Twitter. You can check out my Instagram page. I think, I think that's one of them. You can check out my Facebook page. You can share the giveaway with your friends and each of the different ways of sharing the giveaway all gets you entries. So, uh, yeah, don't be <laughs> frightened by the number there. You actually have a much better chance than you think you do if you do uh, all those things or at the very least Make sure you got that sub, and if you're already subbed, as long as you click that button to say that you want to sub on the uh, entry page, you'll get 25 entries just for that. So, Link the Dusk Lycan Rock is here and says, Hello, Jay. Hey, man, how's it going? Thanks for coming. Miller Miller says, Get Switch on, or er, Outlast on Switch. Will do. Jibbo says, Nice, dude. Zim's tight. It's good stuff. I was recently watching some on, uh, on Hulu. Uh, Nick Nair says, I'm waiting for a good game to come out on Switch. Oh, there's plenty. Deep, what up, man? He says, oh, yeah, my boy 5J. Hey, dude. How you feeling today? Ooh. Trial number one, you say. I'm kind of invincible, it seems. As long as I just keep hitting this... ...twirl business. Like, they couldn't even get close. Just instant death for them. Which is nice. Ooh, 300. That gets me a shamrock, huh? Awesome. I really like the motion of Lucky. His movements are good. I really like it. It's a nice animations there. Very fox-like, very charming. j says, yeah, I think I got like 60 entries. Yeah, see? So, yeah, don't be, uh, don't be put off by that. Nickinator says, I'm gonna go and do it. Yes! See, there you go. Deep says, is this like Mario? It is kind of. Not, not exactly, but it is a platformer, as you can clearly see. Oh, I need to go down that, right? I need to, like... Oh, I just needed to jump. Got it. Random Twitter things happening here. I don't know why, but I just got uh, some music from... Oh, because you mentioned Mario. Uh, for some reason, the song that came to my head first is the song from Super Mario Land on Game Boy. Now, I know I've played that game a lot, but I guess I'm surprised it's the first Mario song that comes to my mind. I do love Super Mario Land. I think a lot of people don't appreciate the first one very much because the sprites were so small. But, um, personally... Um, I think it's more like a Mario game than Super Mario Land 2. Even though that one has some really cool art and some really unique stuff going on for it as well. 
the levels are, are pretty crazy. I like the the rabbit ears. Hey, hey. We've almost collected Lucky. Well, I don't really know where I'm bringing him, but I'm bringing him. Probably right to that bell. Oh, I see. They all have a body. We need to reunite here. Got it. Deep says you should play PUBG. You know, I've thought about it. Um, and I think I want to try it eventually. It's just uh, going to take me a little while here, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Oh, this guy's easy. Uh, DJ MTP says, I love the first Super Mario Land game. Isn't it good? Man, I love it. And uh, I think a lot of people were kind of put up by the like little shooter levels, the submarine and the, um, was it a biplane? The plane with just the, the two sets of wings. Some people were put off by that, but I love those levels. I think they were fun little, it was like mini games, you know? And they didn't put a lot of those in there. I think there were only two, so I don't feel that they went overboard on that at all. Woohoo! Woo he says. I feel like I could be Lucky's voice. Whoa! Woohoo! Take that, foul fiend! So this, this is a game that's not really meant to be all that challenging. It's here for you to relax with. What is this doing? Is it this platform? Oh, I see. What did I collect? The U? Nice. So we've almost got all of Lucky. Aha! Discovered a foxhole. Down we go. Deep says, it is the best game ever. PUBG? Nice. Yeah, I know a lot of people are really enjoying it, and it seems like a really fun concept. I'm not amazing at shooters, though, so I can't imagine me ever being a winner of the chicken dinner. Come on. Come on, Lucky. Oh, I'm missing, like, everything. There we go. Pretty embarrassing though I couldn't get all those. Shamrock number two! I think there's four in this level, so... DJ MTP says the shoot 'em up levels were always my favorite. It's a shame there are only two of them. Yeah, but the game isn't all that long, so you can get to uh, at least the submarine level like really fast. Ah oh, man, now I have a hankering to play that game again. I really love that game, man. I did have a stream where I played through the whole game, and I think it was actually my first time ever actually beating the whole game. <laughs> it was on stream. It was fun. I got hit for the first time ever. Twice now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Game's basically over. Woohoo! Oh, I can climb. I was going to say, I must be able to get up there somehow. Ah, he climbs nice and quick. Whoa. Ouch. Got me again. There we go. Oh, I can like jump on their head or something. Oh no, I must have touched his stinger. Tragic. j -Bo says, I'm pumped for the Dark Souls remaster. Yeah, that seems sweet, man. I, I haven't played a lot of um, of Dark Souls. I played... I think, was, was it Dark Souls 2? I played a little bit of one of the Dark Souls. Maybe it was even the first Dark Souls, but I feel like it might have been 2. 
Um, and it was just so hard, and I had so many other games I wanted to play that I just sold it. I was like, you know, I can see myself getting better, and it is satisfying, but... I think making it portable is going to make a huge difference for me. How do I beat up this guy? There we go. Jump on his head, Mario style. Perfect. Aha! There's the last head that we need. Alrighty. Hope I get them all. Lucky! Yeah! I got another shamrock. Looks like I'm still missing one, so I don't know what I'm missing here. Deep says you should do a giveaway, Nintendo 3DS or 2DS. Boy, I mean, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can't afford that, but that would be great. j says, well, could stop in a bit. Peace out, y'all. Then throws a 5J get good in there. Thanks, j Bobo. You the best. See you, dude. Glad that he knows that he should throw that in the stream at least once. I did die, so, you know, I did deserve it. Completely deserved it. Ah, there's the last shamrock. Slash clover. Woohoo! Nice. Uh, Julio Tendo says, Jay, you know me? I think you were here a while ago, right? Oh, no, Julie. Sorry. Did I say Julio? I'm sorry. But I do remember you, Julie Tendo. I remember seeing that name a while back. So, things are coming back. Nick Nair says, I just forgot my email Google password. Ah, oh, that's the worst. I gotta use a password manager app, because, yeah, it's so hard to remember all that stuff. Yeah, we got four out of 99. Oh, look at that, and it like adds stuff to the level. Cool. This is your second account since you forgot the second. Whoops. Uh-oh. Don't want to go forgetting passwords. So these things, they did get me a uh, shamrock when I hit 300. Is it going to get me another if I recollect all this stuff? Don't know. He's burrowing through rock! Perfect. I thought those little robots were going to be bad, but they're good. Oh, nice miss, 5J. Bada bing. Looks like this is a new level here. We're so glad you're here, Lucky. I hear good things. If you're half the guardian your sister is, we're in good hands. Oh, I'm a quarter of the guardian she is. I know what they want to hear. Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. Might maybe be able to help you a little. Uh, Nick and Air says, I'm going to have to get a notebook for my passwords. Yeah, you got to go for it. Julie asks, do you have Splatoon 2? I do have Splatoon 2. I haven't played it in a while, but I do have it. Deep says, I said it because I do not have any Nintendo things. You say, what, Deep? What did I miss? The Deepster. Oh, I see. <laughs> you want me to give away a 3DS so that you'd have a Nintendo thing. I bet you there's somebody out there giving away a 3DS. You should look for a 3DS giveaway. I'm sure somebody out there is doing it. I train here amidst these grinding gears and spiky things, as Mewshu demands a life or death consequence at every turn. This will be a good test for you. Good luck finding your way, pupil. Until then... I vanish! Yeah, you get out of here, you cat. Hey, he's eating popcorn. He's enjoying the show. He's happy. There's totally something over here. Oh, so I didn't even think about this. This is totally a 2D level. 
This is the first level I've done that's 2D. Nice. Cool. I didn't realize there'd be changing perspectives. So sweet. Awesome. Well, I hope that IG shows up because I uh, injured gamer 1985 donated this game to me, gifted it to me. So um, I hope that he catches it because this is a good game. This is fun. It deserves to be watched. Oh, I see. The diamonds are just worth a whole lot. Uh-huh. Secrets? Hi there, Mewshu. Oh, and the U. Nice. Okay, I lost my train of thought. I was trying to say something. I don't remember anymore. Something about IG. I hope he shows up. It's a good game. He deserves, deserves to know. I appreciate it. Look at all these chats. Hang on here. Nick says, anyone want to play Nintendo Switch? DJ says, I'm only level 11, lol. Pff, I probably only level 11 as well. DJ says, I can give you my friend code. They're passing around friend codes. Link says, do you have an NES Classic or an SNES Classic? Yes, I actually happen to have both. I got extraordinarily lucky, lucky, lucky. I got extraordinarily lucky on both accounts because the NES Classic, I just waltzed into a GameStop on a random occasion. Excuse me. On a random occasion, asked them if they had any. They said no, and no game, no store around here has any within a hundred miles or whatever it was. And I asked them to check again because they had checked an hour ago, and he was like, "All right, but." I really don't think anybody's gotten stock in the last hour. And he looked, and they got stock within the last hour. <laughs> so I quick went to the nearest one, and they still had like five of them. I bought all five and sold them at a huge profit. No, I'm just kidding. I, I bought one, and I kept it for myself. It's right over there. And you stay down. Foxhole? Oh, sweet. We're doing like the Wario Land thing. Sorry, there's like a Wario game on Virtual Boy I reference a lot because it's actually a really good game. Ah! Don't do this. There we go. And we got the K. We got luck. Luck is on our side. Uh, and then the SNES Classic. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night and a tweet had just gone out like five seconds earlier um, that SNES Classic pre-orders were up on Best Buy. So I grabbed one. <laughs> and Best Buy came through for me. So, I mean, that's great. But not everybody gets that lucky. Man, I want to get down there, but that's looking hard. Uh, do you just let me go get my Switch? They're going to go do Sturf, play some Splatoon 2, it sounds like. Do, 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 do. They're just talking amongst themselves. Julie Tennis says, Ridley for Smash is true, XD. Yeah, that was a rumor for a long time. I would love that. I really would. Just getting in here was the hard part, it seems. Because you're actually down there. It's pretty easy. Well, good. We get an extra life to make up for that death. There's Mr. Mewshu again. I want you to get all your little fox paw coins. Don't you fall, boy. Oh, a little 
little fox shaped checkpoint. Nice. Bye bye. Em. Oh crap. I didn't notice they were all death platforms. <laughs> Oops. And the moon is here. What's up, dude? He says, if Miles Tail Prower had a game, it would be this trash. Actually, Miles Tail Prower does have a game. It's called Tails Adventure on Game Gear. And I desperately want that game because I love Tails and I love Game Gear. And this game is not trash. This game is just aimed at a younger audience. And that doesn't mean that it's bad. Kirby is the same way. Kirby's an awesome game. You just have to know what you're getting into when you play Kirby. Same thing with this. If you know it's, uh, you know, a more family-friendly audience and not a hardcore, you know, Super Meat Boy audience, then you can enjoy it for being the relaxing platformer that it is and not the challenging, white-knuckling experience that a lot of platformers are these days. Similar to um, Mario Galaxy, you know. Some people were disappointed in Mario, uh, Mario Galaxy because it wasn't more difficult, but I don't think you expected the right thing out of the game. You know, you were, you're confused what Mario is. If you expected it to be this really challenging game, you know. Challenging parts, but the game as a whole is not meant to be particularly difficult, just have a lot of hidden secrets. <laughs> He just says Tails Sky Patrol and Tails Adventure. See? Somebody else knew what I was talking about, and I've never heard of Sky Patrol, though. Interesting. Also, Tails and the Music Make Maker. Oh, I've never heard of that one. And the woman says, oh no, Kirby does suck. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Julia says, I hope Meat Boy makes it in. I think they did announce Meat Boy coming to Switch, so it's on its way. That one weirdo says, Kirby's a great game. Are you sure about that? Yes. Yes, it is. Here's the deal. You're playing Kirby wrong. Kirby is not a platformer. If you're thinking of Kirby as a platformer, you're not thinking about it the right way. Because Kirby flies. Like, it's impossible to fall down a hole if you fly. Right? So Kirby isn't a platforming game. Kirby is a game about enjoying the power-ups. About enjoying being an all-powerful pink puffball going through levels and just enjoying the experience. It's not supposed to be hard, it's just supposed to be fun. Like in uh, Triple Deluxe, when you uh, like suck up whole gigantic parts of the level. It's cool, man. It's not meant to be tough. It's meant to just be a good time, and that's what it is. So yes, Kirby is a great game, and the sales numbers for Kirby prove it. They've been selling for a very long time, and there are very many Kirby games because it's very successful, because it's very good. So yes, Kirby is a great game. Uh, DJ TMP says, what Kirby game? All of them? Many of them. All the Dreamland stuff is awesome. I like the spin-offs, you know, Tilt and Tumble and uh, Dream Course. Is that what it's called? The, uh, the, the golf-like one. Um, a lot of people like... Um, Oh, the Kirby's Pinball Land. I love pinball games. Um, a lot of people like... Um, I keep forgetting the name. Ah, it's, it's escaping me. Um, Mass Attack was really fun. I love that there were like tons of mini games that you could unlock in that one. And the mechanics, they were so unique. So, yeah, no. There's a lot of great Kirby games out there. One weirdo said they're pushing them out like candy, boys. They are, they do make a lot of them, but Kirby is like their franchise that they get to experiment the most with. They're like, let's just do something weird and let's put it in the Kirby universe. It's cool. I love it. Nick Nair says, I only have Switch or er, six Nintendo Switch games. That's cool, man. Don't worry about it. I bet you there's six awesome games. I have a lot. I have over 50. I bought a lot of games, folks. <laughs> Oops. I don't think I unlocked a new level. I must have missed a shamrock in that last one. 
DJ says, I mean, what Kirby game is bad? I like them all. Ah, see? There you go. <laughs> yeah. DJ says, I only have three Switch games. That one we're just the same. Nick Nair says, I want snipper clips. Yeah, snipper clips is fun. Even one player, it ends up being fun, too. Was I just in here? I don't know. DJ says, Sky Patrol is on the Game Gear. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh, oh, Japanese exclusive. Got it. Music Maker was released on the educational game for the Sega Pico. Sega Pico. What? Julie Tenna says, Ice Climbers 100% in Smash. It wasn't because of 3DS. I don't know. But I like the Ice Climbers. So I hope they come back. Yama. Yama. I don't like clovers. Well, you're wearing a lot of them. Ooh, yeah, go buy snipper clips today, Nick Nickinator. Go for it, dude. <laughs> I see. He loves them. Got it. Eating candy all day is great. Well, this guy doesn't know anything. Swipe those foxes into the glowing spaces. See if you can. Oh boy. I bet this is going to be completely impossible. Yeah, see, totally impossible. This game's hard. It's a joke. Ah, I see what they're doing here. They need me to do this first. tough. That was pretty tough. They got me. See, this is like Kirby, you know? You just have to know what you're getting out of the game, or you'll be disappointed. If you have your expectations set correctly, you won't be disappointed. You'll have a great time. Julie says, ukulele and smash and meat boy? I don't know. You never know. It's hard to, hard to tell after they started putting in folks like uh, Snake from Metal Gear Solid, like, what? Pac-Man and stuff. I mean, Cloud from Final Fantasy, Bayonetta, like, Nintendo's obviously nuts. And Labo, 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 whatever that is, is more proof of that. They're obviously crazy. <laughs> so you never know what they're going to do. Uh... DJ says, Donkey Kong Country is the best country. <laughs> yes, I love it. To Deep's question about the best country. Come on! Well, well, well. Tabletop says, oh, hey, what's up, Tabletop? How long have you been in here? You been hiding? Uh, Tabletop says, Snipper Clips is better with another person. Completely. It's playable with two people. Let me put it that way. Or with one person. Let me put it that way. It's not ideal, but it's playable. You got another thing coming. Yes. Give me them lucky coins. Deep, why are you asking about countries all of a sudden? Are you trying to cause trouble like that one guy? D uh, DJ says Donkey Kong Country. See, I gotta agree with DJ. It's so good. Donkey Kong Country Returns, man. Oh, that game is so good. I played all the way through that game on stream. And uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, I haven't had that ability yet. Or ability. I haven't done it yet. Uh, but now that it's going to be coming to Switch with my favorite, Funky Kong, I think I may just buy it again and play through it all because it is platforming gold. It is so good. They put so much attention into those games. Retro really knocked those out of the park. And it makes me sad that, that folks were, you know, really upset uh, because they tried something other than Metroid. But, you know, they made a Metroid trilogy. And they wanted to try something else as game developers. So... I love what they did. They rebooted a classic franchise again, like they did with Metroid, and they did a great job with it. 
She says, please, Lucky and Smash. As an Xbox exclusive title, I'm gonna guess no Lucky and Smash. That's just my personal guess there. <laughs> but I do like Lucky as a character. This is a good game. I'm enjoying it. Uh, DJ says, the new funky mode. Exactly. You're a surfer, and you're surfing all the time on everything. That's so cool. Seriously, Funky Kong looks amazing. I cannot wait to play as Funky Kong. Julie says, Shovel Knight and Smash. Actually, I would love Shovel Knight and Smash. Love it. Or uh, Spectre Knight. Spectre Knight, man, was a really, really, really good game. Um, technically DLC for uh, Shovel Knight, but... Um, it was also released as its own separate game, and it wasn't the same levels. It, it had its own unique levels, which was great. They were all awesome levels. Julius says, Cloud, are you kidding me? Yeah, exactly. Cloud was in uh, Smash for Wii U and 3DS, and it didn't make any sense. So people were like, why would he be in there? Maybe that Final Fantasy VII remake is going to come to a Nintendo platform? It's hard to know. That game sounds like it's having lots of development issues, so if that game comes out, it might not be for 10 years. <laughs> it's not like Square hasn't done that before. Final Fantasy 15! <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But uh, it is odd that they put Cloud in there. It would seem like they were... And then made an amiibo! They made an amiibo of a character not owned by Nintendo, but under Nintendo branding as a Smash Brothers character. That's insane. That's insane. Duo says, this looks nice. Wouldn't buy an Xbox for it, though. No, that's okay. That's okay. Mail Your Mail says, PS4 is greater than Xbox. Nickinator says, Xbox is greater than PS4. Duo agrees with Nickinator. Mail Your Mail says, me is greater than you. <laughs> this is JK. No, seriously, I love all systems, man. I got uh, an Xbox One, and my wife and I like to play the games on there, so I actually didn't have any resistance from her in buying an Xbox One S. Not X. Not X. S. Uh, so I bought one of those on release, and uh, that's what's up in my game room here. I don't think I'll get an X, but uh, but I'm very happy with the S. Um, and a lot of my friends are on Xbox and not PS4, which is kind of weird since PS4 has so many more units sold, but that's just how it is for my friends. They're just Xbox folks. Make way for Super Lucky. We gotta get this guy through here first. So. First... There you go. Well, no. Yes, now we're good. Don't forget the coins. There we go. That's most of them. I think I missed one. <laughs> DJ says insert console here is greater than insert console here Nickner says Xbox One X is better than Nintendo Switch it's all subjective so nobody can prove you wrong Duo says piece of cardboard is greater than piece of plastic it certainly can be developed faster and you can just throw it in your recycling bin when you're done instead of having to go to like GameStop or sell at a yard sale I think Nintendo's kind of genius for doing it that way they can make wacky, you know, zapper peripherals and, and not have to go through the very expensive and time-consuming plastic development process. <laughs> Mail Your Mail says Jay's wife is better than Jay. <laughs> I cannot disagree with you there. Not at all. Mail Your Mail says McDonald's is greater than my house. This is like a whole meme. We got this meme coming through here. This is good. Of course, it's just a chat meme. A cheem. It's a cheem, folks. It's a chat-only meme unaccompanied by pictures. 
Nickinator says the Nintendo Switch's 720p can't ma match the Xbox One X's 4K. He's right. Duo says, you realize I'm joking, right? What, the Nintendo's better than PS4? You can joke all you want. Oh, you could care less. Got it. DJ says, Banjo-Kazooie is better than Ukulele. JK, I haven't played either. No, I'd, I think I'd have to agree with that, most likely. But that doesn't mean that Ukulele isn't great. Here's the thing, though. Banjo-Kazooie, developed by a very large studio. Ukulele, developed by a very small studio. So, it's not exactly a fair comparison there. So, Ukulele is just a, an indie title made by just a few folks. But Banjo-Kazooie was made by Rare at the peak of Rare. So, that's why I say that. Give me all the coins! He says that's just a theory. A cheem theory. Hey, Tony Plays is here. What's up, dude? He says, what's up? Hey, man. Thanks for coming. How you doing? Nick and Air says, Burger King is better than Wendy's. You know, I do love Burger King. Those burgers are, like, really good. And they actually taste like they came off a grill. And not yeah, just like a griddle, you know? Mary Mel says, does your wife watch your streams? No, not really. That's okay. She doesn't have to. All right. Looks like we got all the bonus... Um, Shamrocks here. What's next? Is it like a map or something? Huh. Oh, this is... Okay, we're in the world right now. It's not like a map that I was expecting. Duo says, Ukulele sold me as soon as I heard... Grant Kirkhope was doing the music. Yeah, same, same composer, which is really cool that they can do that. And uh, some of the developers were some of the developers that worked on Banjo-Kazooie. But again, only some of them, not a big, big team. So, Ukulele is really good um, as a, a show of somebody who's passionate about a series that didn't get a chance to live on. And so they decided to... Make it live on spiritually by basically creating the same game, <laughs> but with completely different branding that will never have a copyright issue. I think it was this world here that I didn't... Yeah, I missed a shamrock. That has to be my problem. We got all of them in this one. So this has to be the issue. Let's see what we missed here. He just says, mind if I make, give me all the coins, a chat meme. Yeah, go for it. Whatever. Mail says, I, I click send on accident for what? Tony says to DJ, you got that from game theory, did you? What, give me all the coins? Come on! Nick Nair says, I've seen this word a lot. Anybody know what? Nope. Nope. Don't what? talk about that in here. Don't. Nope. It's an all-ages thing. We don't need to get into that. So, I think, from what I heard, I have to recollect everything. Let's see if I recollect this L. Oh, no, I don't have to. So, what shamrock am I missing? To keep an eye out for hidden things. Obviously. My bad eye is to see something. I do have very bad eyes. These contacts are very powerful. So we went down here earlier. We got ourselves some unusual guy. Maybe there's something like this that we missed. Come 
down, baby. There we are. There it is. Why can I collect that? There we go. Another mail says, I sent Jay does an accident before finishing your wife watcher streams. Oh. I see. I yeah. guess I must have just interpreted it correctly. Yeah. Jump on these bats? Like, what do these bats do? Whoa. Just get scared, that's all. Yeah. Hey, Tony Plays, you mind not sending Nazi symbols before I have to ban you? Uncool, dude. Do not do that, ever. Never. Julie says, it would be cool if 3DS and Wii U smash a mix up together for a smash for Switch with new characters and green fire. It'd be cool if 3DS and Wii U smash a mix up together. What kind of mix up are you talking about here? Because largely those games were the same, except for each of them, ah, nice, had one mode unique to them. Well, you know, I guess the Wii U might have had two modes if you're counting the eight-player Smash. Nick in here says, do you honk? Smash is coming on Switch? What? Oh, think. Well, yeah, of course. Smash Brothers is a huge series for Nintendo now, which I love. Uh, definitely one of my favorite series from Nintendo. And uh, there's no way they're going to miss this one. They've had N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U. They're not going to skip a generation. If they put one out on Wii U, they're putting one out on the Switch. So, it's just a matter of when. Is it this year? Is it next year? Two years from now? Three? I wouldn't be surprised if it was three. Seriously. I mean, as much as we don't want to think about that. I would not be surprised. Come on. And there we go. I heard all your words. Tony says, sorry, I'm just posting random stuff. Nope, that is not random stuff. That was completely targeted stuff. You know what you were doing. Don't do it again. You got your one warning. Yeah. Oh, I see. After the fact, now you've posted random stuff. Yeah, it wasn't random earlier. Ah, would you scroll here? So many chats. Uh, Mail Your Mail says, should you do a poll on uh, what game is next? Horror game versus anything else? <laughs> I see. You're really pulling for that horror game there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the times I'm shooting from the hip. You know, I'm, I'm spending more time than ever on trying to do edited videos. I've got... Uh, oh, crap. I've got three that I'm working on right now. One of them is ready. It's scheduled to be published on Monday. But there's two more parts to it, so I need to follow those up in quick succession so that it makes sense. And then i got to keep thinking about the other content that I need to make. Um, you know, i got to keep up with streams. i got to think about new videos to write, record, edit, all that stuff. It's, it's a lot of work, and I have a full-time job. So it ends up being really hard to pay attention to every aspect of the stream you know I wish I could do this full time but I got a house and a mortgage and a wife and a dog you know I gotta take care of all these things and it's one of those chicken and the egg things I need to do it full time to make money doing this but I need to make money doing this before I could do it full time you know it's tough Wow, man, so many chats. Hang on, hang on. Ah! Reset, reset. 
Uh, Julie says 3DS got better maps. Wii U got better graphics and maybe a story mode. I don't know about better maps. It had that one, like, weird... Oh, what was that? Where you beat up folks for, like, ten minutes and get all these stat boosts. And then you have a two-minute fight at the end with uh, against folks. It was a really weird mode. I forget what it was called. And then the Wii U had that one where you were, like these little statues and you'd like go over here and you'd fight every statue in this area and you'd it's a weird mode uh, i actually really liked the street pass mode for switch or for smash on 3ds that one weirdo says jay has to eat seven donuts in three minutes on a live stream i could probably do it <laughs> i probably could nick veneer says if it comes out i'm getting it at launch oh smash that one weirdo says was there a console in between 3ds and switch 3DS is part of the con uh, the portable console line versus the home console line. So the Switch is is being touted, at least by Nintendo, as the successor to the Wii U, not the 3DS. Because they're still trying to sell 3DSs. In truth, they're probably only going to have one system from here on out. The Switch and, you know, like how the 3DS is like 2DS and stuff. The Switch and whatever, like, iterations of the Switch it comes up with. So, we'll see what it comes up with. There are so many things. Nick Nair says the 3D feature was bad on 3DS. No, it just got to be boring after a while, you know? It really worked well with 3D Land, though. It was, that was the best way to play. There's so many chats, guys. I'm not going to be able to read all these. I have to stop. DJ has to go. See you, DJ. Thanks for hanging out. Mailer Mail says, I hate playing horror games. Haha, <laughs> I'm terrified this jump scares but it's fun to get scared while watching a youtuber get scared too oh i don't really get scared so much so i don't i don't know if it'd be that entertaining from that perspective okay there we go. so far i'm not seeing anything new Obviously missing something. There? No, we were up there. We're in all these places. Inger says, I'm bringing my dog to get a haircut. Aww. Nice. We need to give Lele a haircut, too. She's due. We have some stuff. We could try giving her a haircut ourselves. Save us some money. Not a bad idea. It's not necessarily easy to do. Come on, baby. I'm gonna get all the coins. There's the Y. Man, what? What shamrock did I miss? I don't even really know. Show me how to play. Nope, that's not it. Show me. Wow, there's very, very bare options. I want to know what that other shamrock is. We're missing something. I don't know how to tell how to find it or what it even means. We replayed that level and didn't do anything. Hmm. Maybe I have to get through without dying. Maybe that's it. Don't know. Uh, Trey Ruiz, is anyone on? Anyone on what? Uh, Big Bud 55 asks, how was your holiday? Thank you for asking. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Nickinator also asked for a horror game. Nice. Well, hey, I do have uh, Resident Evil Revelations. I could uh, play through more of that. It's a great game. Oh, is that a new level over there? It is! This is where we should have gone. Lord Ember's Domain. Uh, Julie, I do have a friend code around here. I can give it out. I just don't have my switch on me and I don't have it memorized. My scoozy. <laughs> Nickinator says, never mind. This is a horror game. Look at the gameplay. <laughs> Lol. Come on! 
Trey Ruiz says, uh, Tony, I know where you live, and I'm going to share your address. Really? Is that so? Trey, don't do that. Wah, wah, wah. And now what he's going to terrorize my viewers in this channel. Big Bud says, oh, that's cool. I got a new LG LED TV. Nice. Very cool. I want to get something that has HDR at the very least. 4K would be cool. But HDR is something I definitely want. At first, you know, I couldn't really tell the difference between TVs where they're talking about black or blacks. You know? But when I'm watching movies on my TV downstairs, our big TV, um... You can tell in movies that have a lot of darkness in them that are supposed to be these beautiful dark shots that, boy, the TV just can't handle it. It just can't handle the blacks and it ends up looking weird. You know, it gives it like a weird pixelated look because it can't render the colors correctly. This, the, the screen isn't good enough. So, next time I get a TV, I want to get a good, a, real, a really good one. Maybe not top of the line, but definitely not like a bargain bin TV. Julie Tennis says, would be cool if you'd stream Splatoon 2. Yeah, I can come back to Splatoon 2. I'm gonna be awful at it. <laughs> but I can come back to it. Thunder Play thanks for reporting it. Oh, did somebody report him too? Nice. Good. I don't know who that was, but... That's just uncool. I don't know why people do that kind of stuff. How is it that I can't go through that floor? That has to be what I do here now. And that's the thing, isn't it? How can that not be the thing? Did I light that lantern? Several of these lanterns? Is there a switch somewhere? What does this guy say? Oh, I'm bringing his head to him. Got it. Oh no! It all makes sense now. Oh. oh no! Oh, what a noob. Hey, IG 1985 is here. What's up, dude? Finally! He says, you need the head. Thanks for this game, IG. Uh, anyone who doesn't know, Injured Gamer 1985 uh, sent me this game. So, thank you so much, IG. I'm enjoying it. It's a nice, laid-back, relaxing, platforming game. I obviously made some very poor choices there, but... If I had read his chat there, this character, I would have known what I had to do. But apparently, I'm a silly goose. That one weirdo says, whenever you say Big Bud, it sounds like Big Butt. <laughs> That's funny. Big Bud. Like your buddy. Go, go. Woohoo. Uh, Tony Play says, do you have a Game Boy 5J? Uh, yes, I have several. I have a Game Boy Advance, uh, I have a Game Boy Advance SP, I have a Game Boy Micro, I have uh, an original Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color. Oh, and my Game Boy Advance is an original launch console, but my friend modded it and put one of those SP-101 screens in it. So, you could say I enjoy Game Boy. Actually, I think my largest collection of games is my Game Boy games. So, yes. Yes, I have Game Boy. I have lots and lots of Game Boy. Come on, let me up. Woo! Yeah, I see that. Almost through here, I think. As far as I know. 
checkpoint. Oh, wait, Lord Ember. Ooh, a burn thing. Pretty fur. Pretty are on fire! Don't run, burn thing. I wish to, um... What opposite of burn? Unburn you! He wishes to unburn me. That's not very nice. He's a mean, mean man. I should tell his mother. Don't get me, sucker! What letters do I have? I got luck so far. Woo! Run, boy, run! Oh no, he just jumped straight up and down. Ah, he's got me now. I shouldn't have come in here. That was bad, I should have just let those coins lie. Tony says, Trey is some guy at school who blackmailed me just because I didn't help him on a test. It's terrible. Nick Nair says, if someone tries telling you a theory like aliens made the pyramids, tell them a more outlandish theory like, you believe in that crap? Everyone knows Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster made it. <laughs> That's awesome. Somebody says, hey, 5J, did you watch the movie Jumanji? Yeah, and I was surprised that it was actually a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. Nick Nair says, isn't the Game Boy going for like $15 on Amazon? Which Game Boy? The original? There's many. Julie Tendo says, which green screen do you use? This was some random generic brand on Amazon. It was just a foldable, collapsible one. I never collapse it anymore. It's up all the time, but I could if I need to. But I don't remember the brand. Sorry. Big Bud D says, if my name sounds odd, then I guess 5J sounds like 5G. <laughs> Lol. Big Bud says, I have a GBA SP Onyx slash Platinum. Nice. That was cool. I like the onyx colored one. I got a launch model, so it was just the platinum. But I like the onyx color better, I think. Good looking system. I'm not gonna let these coins lie. I know me. I gotta have them. I like the embers he's throwing down. It's a, nice, it's a good effect. Looks nice. Now, if I must have these things, I just need to enter from the right angle. Not a right angle, the right angle. Like I go in from this end. Go this way. See, that way you don't die. Funny 5J. You can learn things. Do, 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 do. It's not very fast. Hey, there's his body. Yeah. Hey, this isn't my body. It's somebody else's. Ew. I feel weird. Thanks, though. That would be weird. Julie says, please answer. Answer what? I must have missed something. Julie, 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 Julie. Oh, in Splatoon, you're level 45, and you get in a lobby with level 3 folks. That's silly. <laughs> I bet you won that one. <laughs> Nick Nair says, and the games are like $3. For Game Boy? Uh, depends on the game. If, uh, if you're looking for, like, a Nintendo game, not, like, a third-party game, those are often really expensive. Any rare game is often expensive. Actually, it seems to me that many of the good games end up being expensive, sadly. That's just how it works. Tony Play says, Nick, you got debt from Teen Titans Go, did you? What? I don't know. Nick Hanger says, yeah, the original Game Boy. The original Game Boy is cool, but uh, it's the green screen one, you know, and it has... It's really fat, and it takes four AA batteries... You want a pocket at the very least. Um, they also made a Game Boy Light, which was a backlit Game Boy Pocket. It was really rare. I think it might have only come out in Japan. Maybe not. 
I forget, but it, there, there weren't a whole lot of them. But, uh, yeah. Super cool. I would love to have a Game Boy Light someday. That is a dream system for me to have in my collection. I'm pressing right trigger. Get in there. The original Game Boy is like 15 bucks. Yeah, well, and you can... Uh, there's like a big modding community out there for original systems. So if you get one cheap, you can buy like a third-party, you know, aftermarket um, shell. One that's like neon orange or something. You know, it's really cool. And then uh, you can customize all the buttons and stuff. Like, it's really cool what you can do out there. Whoa! Come on! Oh my goodness! Woo! I barely survived that, and that's okay. Wait, nope, it's not, because I need to collect all those coins. There we go. Otherwise, we don't get the shamrock. Bada bing! Da -na 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 -na. Nickinair says, I met someone who once asked me why isn't it called the Game Boy Girl? The Game Girl, you mean? Yeah, that's the thing. So when the Game Boy brand died because of the 3DS, or sorry, the DS, um, Nintendo's probably not real eager to bring the brand back because it is, by its nature, going to be off-putting towards women. Why is it called the Game Boy? I'm not a boy, but I like to play games. You know, it's just something that would irk you a little bit. Like, if it was called the Game Idiot, you know, you'd be like, I don't know that I want to play the Game Idiot. I'm not an idiot, even though we're all idiots. <laughs> Sometimes we don't want to admit that. Hey, hey, 300. Oh, maybe that's the Shamrock I didn't have. Was 300 coins for the level. Julie Tennis says, I'm playing competitive in the Nintendo clan. Wow, nice. I cannot play competitive um, Splatoon. I am not good enough for that. <laughs> not at all. So that's amazing. You're obviously very good. Uh, oh, another thing you can do to mod games, or mod Game Boys. Uh, my friend has actually done this. He made his Game Boy original have a backlight and um he removed the green filter on it so apparently the green filter on the game boy screens is literally like just like a piece of plastic that's over the screen that made it green like it didn't have to be green it's like what so weird then why would you do that and then um he did something he said called biverting, and I guess what that is is taking a black pixel and making it white, and taking a white pixel and making it black. Something like that. That's how he explained it to me, and the image is so crisp. It looks really good. So his modded, backlit, uh, biverted, non-green screened Game Boy uh, original with like a clear shell is really cool. It's really cool. So. I love that modding community for the old systems like that. So yeah, by all means, if you're interested in doing something like that, get yourself a $15 Game Boy and mod away, my friends. Check YouTube. You're bound to found, bound to find a bunch of different videos on how to do it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I need to end the stream when? In about 40 minutes, right? Because I started at 1? Yeah. So we got some time here. Did I collect all these last time? I certainly didn't collect that one. There we go. There we go, Piggy Peril. That's new. I don't know what we can do with all these coins, but we have over 2,000. That's great. 
Big Bun says, who cut your hair, Leaf Garrett? I don't know who that is. I assume it's an insult. <laughs> but I don't really know. <laughs> Julie Tendo says, a clan from Nintendo were like 17,500 to 20,000 guys and girls. We got a speedrun fun and competitive scene. We played nearly every game. That's cool, man. I didn't know anything about that. And also mod creators and hackers XD. <laughs> nice, you gotta have those. Oh, so we're another another 2D level here. I really struggled to say the word another. I don't know why. A normal word. Nick and says, why'd the chat die? Nah, I think some folks have taken off. It's okay. It happens. Oh, baby, go. Maybe we uh, told one too many trolls to get out of here. Just kidding. We can never tell too many trolls to get out. This is they're being harmful. They're just being goofy. That's one thing. They're telling people, hey, I know who you are. I'm going to spread your address. That's different. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. It's right in front of me. Nick says, isopods be like isopod noises? What? What does that mean? Julie Tennis says, I'm just leading a group of three Germans. Nice. Are you German as well, or is that just a coincidence? That was a nice jump there, 5J. <laughs> Very accurate. V accurate. Come on, baby. Yeah. Just a reminder, folks, if you haven't already. Oh, okay. Let me just die again in that very easy spot. <laughs> just a reminder, folks, if you haven't already, uh, check out my uh, giveaway on my channel. I'm giving away three $20 Nintendo eShop cards. They're going to be U.S. codes, so um, if you're not in the U.S., you can still use U.S. codes. Um, you just have to jump through a couple of hoops. Um, some people are willing to do that sort of thing. Some people aren't, so kind of up to you on how you feel about that. Um, anyway, so that was just a tight area there. Just had to get through that quick. <laughs> Um, check out the video. There's a bunch of different ways to enter. If you see that there's a lot of entries in the giveaway, don't be frightened because everyone gets like 50 some entries if you enter in every way that I have listed. So it's, uh, it's really not as many people applying as you think. There we go. Do I want that? Do I want to be down here? Because I know we need to try and get 300 coins definite goal of ours. I don't want to miss too many of these coins. Get out of my way. Hey, nice. Shamrock. Shame to miss that. Just as, yes, I am, or, or it wouldn't make sense. Exactly. I was saying, is it, is it like messed up? What's going on? Tabletop says, have a good day, everyone. See you, Tabletop. Thanks for hanging out with us. Nick and Nader says, who are you? A viewer, like anyone else. Tabletop's just a viewer. He, he, doesn't, he hasn't been speaking a lot, so maybe that's why you're confused, but... No, he, he spoke earlier. Probably just missed him. Alright. Oh! Tragedy strikes. I didn't even notice that thing coming at me. I got blades. My goodness, they were sliced and diced me. Like a dive bomb. Nickinator says, I really want to do it, but I also don't want to waste my, my time if I lose. What? The entry? Oh my goodness, it takes like very little time. 
you're already sitting here watching me anyway. You might as well just take a minute and do it. Couldn't hurt. I mean, you already subscribed, so that's already 25 entries right there. Go on the page, you click enter, you're good. Missed the C. C in my name. I can't miss the C. Go back, Lucky. Go back. You've done a bad thing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Where is it? I didn't even see anything remotely hidden looking. I'm not really surprised I'm making this. <laughs> Honestly. Uh oh. Might not be able to get back. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's. We already got there. Where's the sea, man? I'm missing something somewhere. Not down there. I think this is all the further we can backtrack, so. Rats! We've missed a letter. Lots of happy pigs bouncing around. It's kind of strange. I why there's happy pig. This is some sort of farm level, right? It's probably. Tractor tires. These are. Not real farm machines, but they are reminiscent of some farm machines. There must be a slaughterhouse. Those pigs are trying not to be slaughtered. Kind of tragic, really. I wonder if it's this. Maybe this thing. This spun with my tail. Make it up there. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Aha. Aha. And that was it. Not a bang. So somewhere in here must be that letter C. Let's do this out getting hit a thousand times, huh? Too fast now. There it is. We done it. Excellent. I'm glad we backtracked. Nickinator says, "All right, I'll be back. See you shortly." GameCube is here. What's up, dude? Says hello. Hey, GameCube. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. in there. We're almost at 300. That's another shamrock. Oh no. Didn't want to do that. Didn't, didn't want to die. Oops. It's saved that I got luck. I don't know that it's saved that I got like 10 billion coins in here. So I feel like I need to go back through just so I get all these coins. Okay, take two. Go, go, go. Take Indiana Jones in here. Yeah, see, there's 20 coins. We are very close to our goal of 300. Give us another sham. And that would sham be awesome. It would. Get on his head. There we are. 
is a help over there. Don't mind if I don't? Wow. Don't mind if I obviously just purposefully kill myself. What happened there? What? Right off the edge. Oh. Alright. Get those 20 coins again. I got a problem, folks. I can't go without them. I can't go without them. I'm even dying in these places, though. It's very silly. Come on, baby. Time's wasting. There we go. Anybody else like the movie Walk the Line by Johnny Cash? And June Carter Cash? It's a good movie. Dark, but redemptive in the music. Oh, and the music. Ah, I tried to sneak under. I didn't want to wait. There we go. We can get this heart as long as we don't make a really stupid choice like you know, jump to my death. Stuff. Must be just various things. Yeah, these little shoots. Shoots and ladders is what's happening right now. This is Super Lucky's shoots and ladders. Oh, whoa. There we go, exactly where we wanted. And that's lucky for a shamrock. Yeah! We're still missing a couple of things. The 300 one and then something else. Maybe they're completing the level? Three shy, there's the three. Yes. yes. And there we go. I gotta put the drum solo in there. I feel like that needs to go into the next Zelda game. Anytime it does that noise, it ends with a really long an obnoxious drum solo because why not because why not that's just how the game should be don't you think i think yeesh yeesh yeah. so what level's next Hey, this thing's done. What do I do with it now? It becomes a different statue for more shamrocks? It's going through the ages. It's now silver. I don't need that time thing. There's only... I think there's only a few levels left in here. Okay, we've already been here, so that's not it. coins? It wasn't the 300 coins, and it wasn't the lucky. What was the other one? Just like a hidden shamrock? It might just be a hidden shamrock. But I'm missing in that one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, the next level must be this direction. It must be. GameCube says, this game actually looks fun. It is! I mean, it's a simple game. It's, um... Just a more relaxing, fun platformer, you know? It's not meant to be difficult and, you know, Super Meat Boy-like. So, yeah, I like it. It's a nice, relaxing game. 
Thanks to uh, Injured Gamer 1985 for sending this game to me. Second game that he sent me, so that's that's really great, man. Thank you, I appreciate it. He also streamed his other game a while back, uh, Turok 2 on PC. We had a good time with that, shooting folks with arrows. <laughs> There's a shamrock. We gotta get that thing. Ooh, double diamonds up here. Nice. Come on. Is this like a, it almost looks like a new world? I like the uh, the fossil there. He's got like a star in his in his mouth. It's strange. What kind of dinosaur's got a star in its skull? Oh, crazy! This is an automatic running level. I actually don't have any control here. I'm just jumping and burrowing. everything I wanted. I have to redo this level. Missing all the good stuff. No! <laughs> Once again. This is the good stuff. I learned how to avoid some of this stuff. I mean, maybe I didn't need that because I think this level only has one shamrock. So maybe, maybe I don't have to replay that. Gotta go fast. Was that finish a burrow run level? So that's is that their tribute to Sonic? With a, a badge name like gotta go fast or a trophy name? Whatever you call it. Achievement name like gotta go fast. GameCube says what chapter are you in in Zero Blade 2? I have to check. I haven't played in a while and I know I'm not particularly far. I'm still at that first town. The first real town, you know, when it actually is an open world area. I'm still there, just doing side quests, so... I didn't make it very far. <laughs> oh, we have more than enough to face Master Mittens, or whatever his stupid name is. I'm gonna kill this big kitty. Let's get him. Our first boss fight. Nick and Air's back says, I have like 36 entries. See, there you go. It wasn't so bad, was it? Very cool. GameCube says, I just started Chapter 5 and I'm at 35 hours. That's insane. How many chapters are in the game? Come on! 35 hours for 5 chapters. That's 7 hours every chapter. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a lot of time. By that logic, I might be somewhere close to the end of whatever chapter I'm in. I don't know. So, you have chosen the path of a Meowlin warrior and wish to perish in battle. Fine. You have proven yourself worthy. Now face the Dojo of Danger! Attack my disciples! Now, did he want me to attack his disciples or was he commanding his disciples to attack? Because it kind of sounded like he wanted me to attack his disciples. Attack my disciples, he says. Holy shamoly, that is a big hand. Hey, it gave me a gift. Thanks, robot buddy, because I I uh, saved his life. I, I turned him back on. He was powered down, so we powered him back up. Not my tail. Not my adorable little fox tail. You gonna give me another heart? I don't need another heart. You gave me two for that. Alright, cool. Didn't need any, but we'll take it. Because, why not? 
Come on, Meowlin warrior. Fight me, boy. Where you at? I'm trying to shoot the head at him. Like that. That's what we need to do. Stop biting him. Three hits. That's a good start. Ouch! What? Hey! I didn't know we were hit twice already. Game Kid says that would be chapter two, and I believe there are ten. Wow. You're halfway through at 35 hours. It's at least a 70 hour game, huh? That's crazy. Nick and Air says I'm on chapter 22 of How to Eat Tide Pods. What, 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 what? Well. The Tide Pod Pods one isn't even all that funny. I just think it, the funny part of that particular meme is all the people freaking out about taking it seriously. Yeah. You know, there's like news stories like the dangers of eating Tide Pods. It's like, well, you'd really have to be dumb to actually do that. Like, boy, you really have to be dumb. <laughs> and then for parents to believe it. He's gone already. I got hit? Oh, I didn't even notice. Thank you, robot man. Game kids eating Tide Pods is just idiotic. That's the thing. I don't think it's something that anybody really thinks is a real deal, except parents worrying about their kids, thinking their kids are that dumb. There may be a few people that dumb, you know, but they just read the box they'd see you know do not ingest is poison go to the hospital immediately if ingested we're gonna see all sorts of new warning labels now after this whole tide pods meme just watch no laundry detergent after this point is gonna have fewer than like 17 <laughs> warning labels on it in like size 200 font don't eat this you stupid person Oh, that one missed. Wait, how did I get hit? I didn't even see me get hit. I don't understand. Ouch. Don't do it. Okay, how did that not hit him? There we go. This guy's gotta be done any moment here. There we go. Whoa, look at that. There's a shadow below the level. That doesn't make sense. Nick and Air says, Wrong. Eating Tide Pods is the smartest thing to do. There's a cool trick you can do with them. You can also clean your clothes. <laughs> that is a cool trick. It's almost like that's what they're meant for. GameCube says, What a nice robot. He gave you two hearts. He's the nicest robot. He's like the Iron Giant. Have you ever seen that movie? I mean, you have much to learn in the arts of Meowlin. We'll meet again, or after I train in a bit. And when I do, I shall not hold back until that time. I vanish? I vanish! Yay, world one complete! The Karate Kit. Aw, Kit is the name for a baby fox. Gotcha, Master Mittens. Nick and Air says, How does Mount Rushmore have snow if it's above the clouds? How would it be above the clouds? How would that happen? Yo finds Kerbakyo Palsum. Hey, voice acting. Yow grats, herb taru, yowum. Yo finds herbal chew, yowum. This is like their attempt at like Nintendo funny speak, 
and it's not going well. <laughs> I don't really care what she says. All we need to know is she is the next cat master we need to beat. Nick and Air Games says, wait, this was just World 1? Yeah. Of course. There's a lot more to this game. Let's see how many worlds there are. In the pause menu, it told us. We've just unlocked World 2. Come on. Let us get to the pause menu. Lucky. Hey, Lucky, you did it. You kicked Master Mittens out of the Sky Castle and helped the golems reclaim their world. It seems as long as the kitty litter... That's such a terrible name for a gang. Are holding sway over a chapter. The book won't open the way forward. Tess is your problem here. She's got quite the brain on her. Even her litter box is automated. Lel, 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 lel. Looks like you'll need help to, pre to repeat. Looks like you'll need to repeat your success and get some more clovers to gain access to her. Hope you're being careful out there. Love, Lyra. P.S. Present time. Let's see what she's given us. Okay, since those things can't possibly exist in the real world, I'll give her a pass on that one. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Veggie Village. Me and the other wormholes could sure use your help. It's a sad story. This was a peaceful town until Tess and her clanking contraptions showed up. Those gadgets are agents of doom and they're destroying our crops. Makes my nubs shake with anger. Just talking about them, your nubs. That's great. Please save our harvest. Stop that meddling Tess and her infernal beasts of gadgetry. Alrighty. How many worlds was it? Looks like there's four worlds. Unless there's more later. Then there's at least four worlds. Okay. Nick says, I thought that was it. She never sent you anything. No, she sent me the, um, the extra life and some coins. So not a lot, but it's something. Uh, so far it seems like these coins don't do anything. You have a running tally of every coin you've ever collected, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know if there's like a store later that you can like buy extra lives or something at. I don't know. So far, it's just coins for the sake of coins. I'm exploring this little overworld as well. Ripe rollers. Ooh, that doesn't sound particularly <laughs> enjoyable there. Ripe. When I hear the word ripe, I really think of it like sarcastically, like you know, somebody passes some gas and they say, "Ooh, that's ripe." You know, like. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you. Please, no. Never again. Want to run away? 30 is not far off. We can get 30 easy. There's some boxes over there, so I know. Something's over here. Aha! What are you up to, Mr. Man? It's gotta be something else. All of this for one enemy sitting up here alone? That can't be right. There must be more. Boy, this is weird if that's all it is. Damn, really? That can't be it. Wow, that was that was it. All that for nothing. That's a weird why would you put that in there like that? I'm still suspicious. I must have just missed something. It's gonna be weird to program that in there for no reason. Uh, Nickinator says, ripe rollers be like ripe roller noises. That's true. Ha, <laughs> nice selfie there, Lucky. Uh, IG says, this game is based on a PC VR game just called Lucky's Tale, but I'm happy you like the game. Yeah, man, I do like this game. So, I've not heard of Lucky's Tale, um, since it's a, v a VR game. 
Are you a fox? Are you lucky the fox? Or did they add the fox to it? What did you do in the VR game? Was it... Was it a platformer like this, or... Was it just like a world exploration thing, or... What was it? Not heard of it. So, what you're saying is, then... This was a VR exclusive that they unexclusive. It's been happening with a lot of, of uh, VR games, like the Star Trek, uh, what's it called, Bridge Commander? That too, once an exclusive, now no longer. Or at least soon no longer, I don't know if it is now. They announced there was a non-VR version coming out. Makes me think VR may be declining. It should be sad. It's a cool technology, VR. I hope there's a future there and they get to do some really cool stuff down the line, but so far it doesn't seem to be a lot going on with that. Come on. I think it has a lot of other uses besides video games that it's not going to go away, but as a video game thing. It might have been a simple fad. So far. Maybe one day I'll come back again. Who knows? What you got, Gadget Cat? Gidget. That would have been a good name for her. Because it's like Gadget. But it's an actual name. Uh, IG says, it's the same. Everything now, it's 4K. Ah, got it. 4K, man. That's something I look forward to, but at the moment, it's a little too expensive for me. Having to upgrade movies and game systems and stuff. I know this Xbox One S can play 4K movies, but if I got a 4K TV, it would go downstairs. It wouldn't go in here. Lauren and I would want to watch movies, and we would do that downstairs. With the couches, not with the gaming chair. Hey. Can I help you there, little worm farmers? If I listen to that guy, he probably told me to do something and I'm just not listening. Highly probable. Gathering eggs? Is that what's happening here? Am I bringing them? Back to him? Back to the chi- Oh, I see, in those little chicken nests. There you go. I'm gonna double your chickens for you, buddy. This is the fastest hatching eggs ever, by the way. Nick Nair says, hey, Vsauce here, and today we're going to cut open a child I found in a playground gone wrong. What? Vsauce, is that some other, like, YouTuber that you're referencing there? Is that a meme regarding a YouTuber? That's terrifying. That's not cool, man. So, did that get me anything there, bud boy? No? Okay. Oh, you can do it, you can do it. What am I doing to these chickens? Oh, I'm, I'm putting them in this pen. It's a classic Zelda thing. as easy as Zelda, it appears. Get in there. Oh, come on. So close. Here we are. This little sucker. Hey, don't you leave. 
Not allowed to leave once I get you in there. You're wrong. That's the weirdest chicken noise I've ever heard. I don't think any chicken actually sounds like that. Six out of eight. Ah, here's two hiding little devils. Get out of there. Let me get in there. I said get in. There we are. Get the feeling that fence is inadequate. <laughs> I don't think those chickens are really stuck in there at all. There we go. I didn't want to shoot them off the edge. What do I get? Give me something good, baby. Shamrock. Shit. Ah, it's the U. Helpful coop. Cooperation. Well, see, it's a chicken coop, but they put the word cooperation. So that's that's a hard play on words there. You have to choose one pronunciation or the other. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I don't like this meme. I'm taking it out. I don't like it. That's not a meme I need to have in my channel. Or a cheem, since it's, we've decided chat only memes are now cheems. I see the sea! Please don't make me do another coop thing. Nice. I like this. The burrowing stuff is fun. Nice. That's a shame. It's a big old diamond. Cool. Excuse me, Mr. Chicken. Let me through. It's a great meme. Nope. Not for this channel, it's not. I'm not a channel where I want children to feel safe, so no. Nothing here. Yes. It all goes towards my total. Almost forgot these boxes. That's three coins. Three. Count them. One, two, three. You missed out on big numbers there. Sometimes they just barely give you enough to hit the 300 mark, so... I really actually don't want to miss little things like that. Oh! That was a big angry bird there. Much like angry birds. There we go. Gotcha! Ooh, and we got a K out of the deal. Sweet. It's this machine. Here says he's a YouTuber that pops up and says Vsauce here, and people basically make him into any place since he uses green screen sometimes. Oh, sure. Okay. Interesting, but that particular execution of that meme wasn't cool. That's all. What did I just make? It looked like a Lego brick. We're making Legos in this game. That was my last... My last Kool-Aid water. Now I have nothing but plain water. Tragedy. Actual tragedy. Gross plain water. I just gotta get over my uh, my need for soda. Best way to do it, just have water. I don't like it, but I know it's the truth. How'd you miss that? Come on, dude. Those timers last a long time. 
Doing it pretty slow there. Alright. Oh, man, we're at 3 o'clock, but I'm going to finish my, uh, my level here before I sign off. Nickinator says, did you touch my spaghetti? Good old spaghetti. Ooh, spaghetti. Who was it that was always in this channel that would always say, never forgetty, rest in spaghetti? Somebody would say that like a lot of the time. If they were watching, they probably would pipe up, but I don't think that they are. I don't know if it was like splatulated or if it was like... I think it was fire powered. I think it was an older viewer. Older is in one that's been around for a long time. Oh yes, there's the Y. Shamrock for me. Lego piece. Let's look at this thing. Oh I, like oh, I think it's maybe a battery. I guess I just looked at it funny the first time. This is, I gotta see this chicken, man. This is gonna be the biggest chicken ever. And just pumping out production there. See that business? Man, that chicken makes a lot of eggs. It's gotta hurt, man. Can't feel good. Shamrock, we now have all the shamrocks once we complete the level. We got three of those things, and that does. Inconceivable! You just mutilated my Scramble Matic 1150. Oh, I see. It's your little invention we've destroyed. Bada bing, bada boom. That is 100% level. Uh, Nick and Air Game says, Jay, if you have kids, I don't have kids. Uh, why do they never come and play games? No, I don't have kids. I want this to be a place for young people to be safe. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, so if I had kids, it would be more entertaining to have them on. Absolutely. I've had my wife on before, but we don't have kids yet. One day. We're planning on it. Just not today. Uh, one of my regular viewers ended up um, starting his own channel, and uh, he has his kids on pretty regularly. Um, so his channel, pretty appropriately named, Nintendo Family Gamer. Just pretty cool. So I imagine myself, you know, doing something like that, which would be way down the road, because obviously if I have a kid today, a baby on the channel, not so good. <laughs> You know, it's going to take several years before the kid's old enough to be, you know, entertaining and, you know, able to play games and such. But, yeah. Why doesn't my dog play? Actually, the dog has made some appearances on this stream before, actually, believe it or not, on a couple of occasions. And I brought the camera around and I showed everyone the dog and it's not common, but it happens sometimes. <laughs> Nickinator says, Jay's dog is greater than Jay. That is so true. She's such a sweetheart. Great dog. Folks, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to check out the video on my channel about the three $20 eShop gift cards. You could be one of the three winners. Um, watch the video and tell you how to enter. And uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Um, I guess I'll catch you next time, guys. I'm busy tomorrow, so I probably won't be streaming until next week, I do have a video coming out on Monday, so also look for that. See you later, folks.